Huh. So I guess it turns out that the uh, second place prize is the Cheeto page. Uh, that's not good. I was really hoping to get all the jiggies, but it looks like that. It appears that the. I don't know why I was checking my health. Uh, yeah, it appears that that minigame is kind of impossible. Uh, I might. Uh, I might go and look up a strategy guide of how to actually do it on the Xbox. Because unless I'm missing something, the, uh, the way it's formatted on the Xbox is that it's far too stiff. Because if we keep returning back to center. Hmm. Okay, next up, we need to get to the garbage can. The garbage can is... <coughs> um, okay, first, let's go over to... This red one. See if we can see it. No, that's that. Someone's in the air, defend your jiggy. Huh? Oh, there it is. I was just looking off into the wrong direction, apparently. Okay. Yep, I'm here just as Kazooie. Have you seen this character last seen in Banjo Kazooie? <laughs> what the? Um. Oh. Well, that's awkward. keep going like super zoomed in okay how do we get up there salted snacks I get it's like Yeah, I get it. Oh, 
Uh, it's like the game is deciding. But it doesn't want to glide. At the top of my jump for some reason. Okay. Okay, there we go. Black Ginger family is now complete. Now we can actually talk to this guy and see what he is up to. A visitor? Guffo doesn't get many visitors in trash can. Not surprised it stinks. I prefer to think of as as an acquired aroma. Perhaps you can help me. I'm facing eviction from my trash can by the health and hygiene department unless I clean the place up. Shall I tell you about the problem? Sure. These filthy germs that live in here. I've been told to get rid of 50 points worth. Hey, it's just the ulcers. <laughs> I've dealt with these guys. Now, this is a puzzle I can do. Sorry, this is a, uh, this is a minigame I can actually do. Great, you killed 54. Okay, I, uh, I thought I was actually below. Fancy trying for a new germ best score? See you later. Tell all your friends they're welcome to visit. Okay. Uh... I think I know what I need to do. But let's double check. Yep, there's a uh, there's a hole back here that's banjo sized. What the heck is Kazooie doing? <laughs> that was really strange. What the heck? <laughs> You're like, <clears throat> Okay, uh, how exactly do I... Hmm, probably has to do with, uh... The, uh, floating guy. What was that one again? It was, um... Yeah, wasn't it, uh, at the sack race? Would be up there. Oh, okay. I know where I need to go. We need to go to the red mumbo hut. The blue ones have a gold tooth. Just kind of noticed that. I don't know why.
Float over to the trash can. Huh. Guess they don't want me floating over to the trash can. Oh well. I'll go over there in a bit. Ah, there you are, furball. Event 2 is the sack race. Find a sack from somewhere and race me to the finish line. I see you have a sack, Furball. Fancy a little race across this thorny course? Ready? Go! I imagine that he has the voice of a... Uh... The alarm of the uh, clock from I imagine that he had the uh, the voice of the clock from Diddy Kong Racing. You ain't one yet, Furball. See you around in event three. Uh, this is the one where I need the running shoes, I believe. Let me just double check to see what I actually need for that. Yep, running shoes, but I don't actually know where exactly to get that. Okay, is this going to send me down to the... Nope. But will this one? Yeah, it looks like this one's the one. Didn't see you come in through the front door. Please leave and enter properly, like everyone else. Oh, I see what I messed up. I'm supposed to actually... Um, the reason why those have the egg symbol... The symbol? Is, uh, the reason why there's the egg symbol on it is because I'm supposed to... Get Kazooie. Fly over there. Or glide. And then put, and then hit it with the Clockwork Kazooie Egg. Okay. Hopefully you'll leave me alone now. It won't.
Huh, I could sit down. Uh, at least I believe the code is 1984. Because I think 1974 might actually be a little bit too soon. I mean, a little bit too uh, early. Okay, where exactly are the rest of those? actually been in here before. men's carts can also fix mice. Huh? Well, I actually know who they're talking about, which isn't very reassuring. Young man, I'm George Ice Cube, stuck up here at this perilous altitude. What happened, George? I was out walking on the icy side of Hellfire Peaks with my wife Mildred when a huge blizzard came along and blew me away. Why not stand up here? Lovely view. I'm afraid of heights. Now, I reckon I'm above the icy side, so if you could just give me a little push... No, wrong side! Tell Mildred I love her. Well. That was dark. <laughs> um. Oh. There it is. Yeah, right. Uh, let me see if... Yep. Okay, where was the last one? It appears to be... Near the sack race, but I can't seem to actually... I can't actually locate it. Different image that's slightly close up. I'm missing. 
I don't know, I'll just zoom in on the page. Oh, okay. Spotted ledge near the top of the mountain. Oh, okay, I see. I see. Uh, I need to figure out how to get to that mountain top. Let's fly up there and see what we can do. Oh, well, that looks like a mountainous top. It's got a flight pad and everything. And if it's not this one, there's another pad that's uh, right next to it. Sorry, another ledge. Oh, okay. <laughs> no one said the camera in this game was perfect. It's just the gameplay is really cool. Oh yeah, I should remember that. It's a real rare date. Okay, where is he? There he is. And most of this level is just meandering about, just finding things haphazardly and just kind of finishing things off. Um, when it comes, you know, I've been, I've been really thinking about it and when it comes to this world, I don't hate it. I just feel like that it's kind of, uh, phoned in a little bit. Um... I guess uh, next time we're gonna go we're gonna go find Wumba. We actually know how to get to her because there's a flight pad right over there. I'll see you guys next time.